Hi guys, welcome to Bullet Gaming. Today I'm gonna teach you how to overclock your monitor to obtain more frame per second by a normal 60 frame per second panel. First of all, this process is for Nvidia cards only in this tutorial, but can be done even with uh, AMD cards without much of a problem. The only issue that I have is that I don't have an ATI card, so I cannot actually show you this process. So we're gonna do this through the Nvidia control panel. First of all, open the Nvidia control panel go on the menu change resolution and you will have all the resolution under that there is this button customize if you click on it it will open this list usually there is no custom resolution made if there is delete all of those then go to create custom resolution now here you have the refresh rate well the refresh rate can be changed so you can actually force the monitor to display more frames per second what you can do is actually increase the frame rate by 5, 65 and make a test every time. Click on test, wait for the screen to tell you if it's supported and go on. For example, we're gonna make a test. And as you can see, it is supported. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna click no, and I'm gonna go 70 frames now. I'm gonna click again test. And as you can see, it still is supported, so it means that my monitor can display 70 frames per second. So I'm gonna go up again and go, go 75 and I make a test. As you can see, it, it's supported, so I don't have an issue with it. So I'm gonna go up again and I'm gonna go to 80 and I'm gonna test it. As you can see, it is supported without much of a problem. Now, since I made this test, I know that this monitor doesn't support 85. This monitor only supports till 82, so we're gonna make a test at 82. And as you can see, it says that duplicate resolution. There is this resolution already exists because I made this one previously. And as you can see, it is there. Now, when you save the custom resolution, you will have this. And as you can see, I can switch from native, that is 60 frames per second, to uh, this custom one that's 82 and when I actually apply it as you can see I'm actually using the monitor at 82 frame per second which gives a lot more fluidity you cannot actually appreciate it from uh, YouTube since it uh, only allows 29.97 frame per second but when you are gonna try this on your PC, you're gonna notice that the movement and the mouse uh, shadowing and everything is a lot better. There are a lot of IPS Korean panels that can go up to 120. This is a normal panel of uh, uh, unknown uh, actually producer. It's very cheap and I didn't spend a lot of uh, money on it. But depending on the type of monitor you have, you could go very, very high with the frame rate. It's not actually like having a 120 or 144 gaming monitor with a really low uh, response time, but it improves in a huge manner the fluidity of your game and the ability to track moving targets, especially in FPS gaming. What it can do, uh, you maybe notice it, there is a little bit of color um, saturation. You can adjust this by going on video, adjust video color settings and you can actually adjust the saturation in here. This is a good way to actually improve your uh, your experience in FPS gaming without having to spend the money for a 120 or 144Hz monitor. And that's it for this video guys. If you liked it, please rate, leave a comment or subscribe. And until next time, see you on the battlefield.